Wake up, Lo-Fi Nation. It's another Good News Friday. Welcome, everyone, to the Lo-Fi Poly Side Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right. Lo-Fi's and low-fidelity, low-quality, in-your-face, messy-as-can-be global news show. And it's everyone's favorite day of the week. That's right. It's another Good News Friday. The news, fresh off that press. Source, the UK, Wales section of the BBC. Stonehenge, were the building blocks from Wales? When you think you know all about the rocks and how they're arranged in a circle from 5,000 years ago, well, you find out that really, we're still learning a lot about ancient history these days. And this article delves into the details of where particular stones in Stonehenge come from and the potential reasoning behind them being moved over 150 miles just to make a circular structure back in 3000 BC. If you're into those details, check it out. It's pretty fascinating. But I chose to leave with this story because it represents a very particular thing for me, for us, for the we that we be. You see, Stonehenge was built by ancient people that didn't leave a diary behind. And we're just trying to figure out who were they? What were they doing? What were they trying to tell us? Were they trying to tell us anything? What I mean here is that so much of our ancestors we don't know, we don't understand. I mean, it really makes me wonder, how am I affected by that understanding or lack thereof? How much of history do I allow to influence my present? How much of yesterday do we dwell upon today? Just a thought for you out there. Next up, source, the editor's pick of NPR, Sisters with Transistors, Pioneers of Electronic Music. All right, this one is a lo-fi must-read and a lo-fi must-listen. It's a combination of article, YouTube clips, and it's based on a new documentary called Sisters with Transistors. This documentary is about the instrumental roles that women played in the development of electronic music. But not just making the music, but making the electronics as well. It's about creation and innovation. And it's about so much more that I can't do it justice right here. So lo-fi listen to this for real. And see what's the real story with Sisters with Transistors. Now, keeping it going with the music theme here, Source, the oddities section of the AP. Ancient shell horn can still play a tune after 8,000 years. Now, this story I love, but also makes me think, sometimes, humans were pretty stupid. And archaeologists back in the day? Yeah, I'd group them in this category sometimes. Because in the 1930s in France, in a cave excavation, they found a conch shell, a 12-inch shell that you blow into and it produces a sound like a horn, like a French horn, let's say. Well, back in the day, people thought this was just a ceremonial drinking cup. Because, of course, what else would you use a shell for, I mean? But the museum came upon this again recently and realized this 18,000-year-old conch had been modified to play different musical notes. And so what they do, they call in a professional French horn player to do just that, and wouldn't you know, it worked perfectly after 18,000 years. And now we're thinking this may very well be the oldest wind instrument on the planet. And when we found it, we thought it was a cup. Oh, aren't we a curious bunch, us human beings. And our following story comes from the BBC Tech section. Pigs can play video games with their snouts, scientists find. Where do I begin with this? Maybe who's doing or funding this research and why? Why? Well, let's find out together. So, well, I'll just start by calling this a lo-fi fun read, because you can tell the author was having some fun writing this article with several puns and plays on words. But the deep of it is four pigs were given food rewards for playing a joystick game where you had to move the cursor on the screen into a wall. If they did it, they got food. And for the most part, they learned and were successful. And when the food distribution device broke, they still played the game. And the conclusion of the scientist? Pigs can play video games. Pigs are intelligent. This is important for how we interact with pigs. And to quote a farmer from the article, begin quote, I don't think this will come as a surprise to anyone that works with pigs. End quote. And there you have it. Take from it what you will, but interesting nonetheless. 
pigs can play video games, and someone's getting paid to prove it. Goodness, I love science. But as much as I love that, this next story is really the one I get for the week. And a last piece of news to send you on your way to the weekend, NPR, the science section. Eight-year-old calls out NPR for lack of dinosaur stories. You know what, eight-year-old kid? You are absolutely right, but not just about the NPR, about all broadcasters out there. Dinosaurs, give us all more dinosaur stories. I'll do a bit of a quote from this kid. It's adorable. They write into an NPR show called All Things Considered. Begin quote. I listen to All Things Considered in the car with mom. I listen a lot. I never hear much about nature or dinosaurs or things like that. Maybe you should call your show Newsy Things Considered, since I don't get to hear about all things. Or please talk more about dinosaurs and cool things. End quote. Well done, eight-year-old kid. Well done, Lo-Fi poli gives you so, so many mad props for this letter. And let's take this message and run with it. And as you go about your day, about your weekend, why don't you add a little dino news to your daily diet? And that's it. I am out for the weekend. Holiday coming up, but I'm still going to be around. A bit of a different programming schedule next week. Stay tuned for Monday's episode of Pickering Unplugged. Tuesday's top 10 is the top 10 favorite holidays. And a very special Wednesday. More on that soon. Always remember that lo-fi poli size more than just me. It's the we that we be. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Wash those hands. And I'll see you on the next episode of the Lo-Fi Poli Sci Podcast. Pickering, signing off.